Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name is Jason Newland. This is the first video that I've made and uploaded onto YouTube for quite some time. So I should sort of give you a, a quick update really on what's going on. So I took all the videos from my YouTube channel off except for three. Uh, three of the most popular ones. So I left those on there. They're all available to download on my website, jasonnewland.com. I think there's about 400 and I'm not sure, over 400 videos anyway. And also all my MP3s are available to download on my website for free. Uh, but there's, there will be some that you could pay for, but there's still hundreds and hundreds of free MP3s. Uh, hypnosis sessions from the last 12 years. And this video is also free. Obviously it's on YouTube, so it's free. That's it. So if you want to see what I'm want to kind of get a, an idea of what's going on on my website just give it a visit and have a look um, you'll see there's lots of stuff on there it's categorized and you can search for things as well so if, for example if you want something for uh, I don't know leg pain you can put leg pain in the search and stuff like that so or agoraphobia or whatever so that's it. So I thought I would do start doing daily sessions, daily hypnosis sessions. And they're not going to be long. Uh, and this is a little experiment as far as I'm using my iPhone, using the headset that clicks into the you know the lightning portal of the iPhone with the hope that the sound quality will be loud enough. If it isn't, then there's other ways of me doing this. I just have to record the audio separately to the video and then edit it into a video, you know, using editing software. Doing it this way is a lot easier because I can then just upload the video straight to YouTube from here. So thank you to those of you that have subscribed to my YouTube channel and I hope that you will continue to watch my videos and gain benefit. So that's the end of this introduction. I will just get on with the, the video. So I only ever watch my videos or listen to my MP3s when you can safely close your eyes very important because you might fall asleep you might just hypnosis even though I don't necessarily do hypnosis in the way that perhaps other people do it it's still ultimately focusing and while you're focusing on my voice you're not focusing perhaps on other things. For example, if you were driving a car, you might be focusing more on my voice than the driving. That's why it's best not to listen to these kind of recordings when you're driving. So by saying only listen or watch when you can close your eyes, that eliminates pretty much everything that would need your attention Um, unless of course I suppose you are on a phone but then how would you listen to me and talk on the phone at the same time it, you know but ultimately that should cover all options it feels a bit weird doing this introduction considering I've been doing this for 12 and a half years but there you go some people will, you'll only see me for the first time. You may never have seen any of my videos or heard any of my audios and not know who the heck I am, which is fine. 
uh, just to let you know, I've got a little ferry called Andre that may run in here, and if he does, I might pick him up and show it to you, show it, show him to you, but not during the the little session. So, I'd like you to close your eyes, and I thought it would be use this space and use this time to just just to get in touch with a feeling a place where nothing worries you nothing bothers you nothing intrudes upon your feeling of comfort so that's what we're going to do today so I'm just going to ask you if you haven't closed your eyes already close them now and before you have closed your eyes I should have said this before make sure you're comfortable so if you're standing up against a wall or sitting on a a nail or carpet or something, you know, just get off and get yourself onto a comfortable bed or a comfortable chair. And if you're in a chair, get one that you could fall asleep in safely. So ideally a chair with sides and, you know, so your body is supported regardless of what happens. So if you fall asleep, you're not going to fall off the chair or anything like that. Or you can lie on the floor if that's comfortable for you. And with your eyes closed, I'd just like you to focus on my voice. Just notice how my voice sounds. And maybe you could notice there may be sounds around. Maybe where I am, maybe where you are. I can hear the sound of the fridge in the kitchen. Just humming away. To the side of me is the window and outside the window I can hear just the faint sound of traffic. very faint and what's interesting well I find it's quite interesting is when I focus on the sound of the traffic in the background the sound of the humming fridge in the kitchen seems to reduce in the same way as sometimes when I'm lying on my bed and uh, I'll be asleep or I'll be lying there and it might be during the day, it might just be a going there to have a little nap or just have a you know a couple of hours sleep or something in the afternoon. And there'll be sounds outside. But at some point it's as if my ears just switch off. And I haven't got any earplugs in or anything like that. And the sound is still there. It might be could even be building work in one of the houses, you know, close by. And I can hear it. Then I notice that I'm not hearing it. I notice, but I notice that once I start hearing it again. So there's a point where there's no sound is entering the ears. As if, as if the, the ears are just switched off. So I suppose it makes sense that the ears can maybe switch themselves off when not needed in the same way that we can just close our eyes when we don't need to be looking at anything. And we 
you can just rest your legs when you don't need to use your legs for anything. And your hands can just rest maybe on your body, on your legs, or maybe on the bed or on the sides of the chair, because your hands are not needed for anything. And it's the same with pretty much the whole of your body. It's not needed. You don't need your body other than the basic major organs to just operate naturally, which they do. Those things that don't need your conscious awareness, blood flow, the oxygen, the oxygen levels in your blood being processed and spread throughout your body and to your brain, the healing taking part, taking place within the different parts of your body, as your body is continually repairing itself, as your mind is continuously creating new pathways, new ways to learn, new ways to get to the same place as you've perhaps gotten before through a possibly a longer route. And that's sometimes what this is now. It's like a shortcut, a shortcut to feeling relaxed, and calm, but not just relaxed and calm. There's also that feeling, that feeling of safety. And the feeling of safety is, I feel often underrated. Yet it's one of the most important feelings you can have. A feeling safety, feeling safe, emotionally, feeling safe, physically. And when you listen to my voice, you can have this feeling naturally occur at the beginning of the session, even before I start going on about closing your eyes and relaxing the different parts of your body and blah, 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 and just talking about things. And you may wonder, why does he keep talking about his fridge? What's his fridge and the humming of his fridge? What's that got to do with anything? Or the sound of the traffic in the background and how many more times do we need to hear that he's got a ferret running around? We know that. But it's about that connection, about connecting my voice with those positive, safe feelings. And the word positive can mean many different things for different people. In this meaning, I'm talking Really, there's no such thing as negative safety, I don't think. A feeling of safety is a wonderful thing. Regardless of how long the feeling lasts, just being able to have that feeling. And sometimes, you know, by experiencing that feeling, and even if it's maybe the first time you've had that experience of feeling completely safe, Hopefully it's not, but if it had, if it was that situation, you'd start to want more of that and maybe start to think and look into different ways of making those changes necessary in your life to allow yourself to experience more of these feelings of feeling completely safe because you deserve to feel safe. 
you deserve to be happy. You're a wonderful person. You've got lots, lots of beautiful experiences ahead of you. And right now, the experience you can feel, as well as whatever feelings you're experiencing, is that sense of safety, that sense of just being in that safe space within your mind where it's not affected, that feeling of safety is not affected by how your body feels. It's not affected by what you've eaten. It's not affected by what job you do. It's not affected by what's happened today, what might have happened in the past. This feeling right now is how you feel in this moment. This is your safe space. And you can experience more of this. It's just being there. And the reason I'm not giving you direct commands into how to feel or where to feel it. You don't need that because this is what happens naturally for you and we're all different. And the way that you experience that sense of safety is unique to you because you are a unique person. You're an amazing person. And maybe it's time that you accepted, really accept that you do deserve to be happy. You deserve to feel safe regardless of what age you are, whether you're five or 95, it doesn't make any difference. You deserve to feel safe, physically safe and emotionally safe. You always have and you always will. Experience that sensation of safety right now. And it can feel a little bit like having, or like soaking in a bath. I know not everybody likes to get into the bath. Some people prefer showers. But imagine the most comfortable bath, or maybe a jacuzzi, somewhere that's private for you, safe, and you can have that sensation of just complete physical bliss. Maybe you like to have music playing in the background. Maybe you like to have candles or a certain aroma, some, you know, smell that, that just causes you to feel really, you know, wonderful. Now, that's what being in this safe space can feel like a little bit in the sense of you're enjoying it. It's a safe place for you to be, to just enjoy. And we could be like sunbathing on a beautiful beach, 
maybe a private beach, completely safe, maybe with somebody that you care about, maybe with your family, maybe with a friend, maybe with your puppy or your cat or your ferret, you know, but just safely soaking up the rays of the sun, completely relaxing you. I know that sunbathing isn't for everybody. I love playing in the sun, or I did, but I can't because of my skin. I, I'm unable to sit in the sun. But I know what it feels like, and it feels beautiful. It's so relaxing, so calming. Especially maybe if you're by the sea, you can hear the the waves of the sea. And maybe if you've got suntan lotion on, which you should have if you're sunbathing, you can smell that and it usually smells nice. There's that physical sensation. Maybe you're lying on a, a towel which is on the sand. So the sand is all soft. And it supports your body really well. It's almost like floating. And this safe space can be like that. But without having to sit in the sun. Without having to do anything. It can just be a place where you can go to recuperate. to heal. It's a safe space for you to be you without having to think about anything. It could be as simple as just being some place to recharge, a place to rest. And the good thing about this place, this safe space that you can relax and just be you, is you don't have to be there for a long time. Maybe you can just close your eyes if you're sitting on a train or a bus. Maybe close your eyes for a couple of minutes. Just go there. When you're there, you can just, you can either just be completely in that space, or if you choose, you can also have that awareness of the muscles in your body relaxing. And you can feel the stresses, the worries just dripping away. You can feel that sense of relief and calmness. Now, this is something that you can do whenever you choose. And what you may notice is your body and your mind, which are connected. Uh, I don't, when I say connected, I don't mean in a um, like a new age way. I'm just meaning a sense of, we've got this thing called a neck, spinal cord, it connects the brain and the body, you know, it's, it's physically connected. And your body and your mind start getting used to certain feelings and certain I want to use the word trigger. I know trigger, that word's used a little bit now for uh, maybe more of a negative word, but in this case it's not. Like a light switch maybe, think of it in that way. Like an automatic 
You know those lights that come on when you walk past a house, maybe at night, sometimes even during the day, and I'll be walking Andre, and I go past a house and the light will come on. So it's that kind of thing where maybe you're in need of some of those feelings of that safe space. And even though you're just carrying on with what you're doing, you're not closing your eyes, you're just uh, maybe in the middle of something, maybe even a conversation that may be challenging. That sense of comfort, confidence and The ability to deal with whatever situation arises, those feelings can be spread and shared and activated within you, giving you that little bit of a boost. It's like you've got your own support network. I think sometimes in a sense of like a football match and you've got your supporters there. And maybe they're quiet most of the time. But then when you need, when you need them, maybe you need to hear the support, need to feel the support, then they start cheering. They let themselves be heard. That support lets itself be felt within you. And you can enjoy that. You can appreciate yourself. Because then that gives you more of what you need in that moment. I just think that's a, quite a cool thing to have. To have that support is so important. You deserve that. You deserve to have that support. You really do. So that brings us to the end nearly of this daily hypnosis. 2018. So I'm going to possibly doing these daily hypnosis sessions every day, I guess. But I will, shall I name it by the, the year? I don't know. But uh, you may be able to download this video on my website. It's possibly will happen, but I probably will put it on my website to download. I might have the MP3 so you can listen to it as well. Um, it seems a shame in a way to just make it and then only put it on YouTube. But it depends on the, the sound quality, I guess. But uh, I really, really wish you well. Genuinely, I'm here to help. And I know what it feels like, for me anyway, I know what it felt like for me to not have, or feel that I don't have anybody. There's been times, in fact, earlier today I felt like that. I'll be honest with you. And I called on a friend, and my friend helped me. It was just, it was just a bit of company, but Sometimes it's nice to to have options, you know. It's good if you've got friends to call on. It's also good if you can call on yourself. It's good to have the option. So maybe sometimes when you don't feel able to call on yourself, you can call on a friend. Maybe do both. But these daily hypnosis sessions are 
also for me as well because as well as embedding these suggestions to you I'm also embedding them offering those suggestions to myself so it's a way of us connecting but I'm also doing what I'm saying I'm also doing it as I'm saying it for example if I do a relaxation session and it's always been the same actually is if I'm talking about relaxing your legs I'm focusing on relaxing my legs so I'm not just saying the words for the sake of saying the words uh, as you if you open your eyes if you watch this you'll see that I've got my eyes closed most of the time I'm not sure if you can see through my glasses but so that's it really this is the end of this session I'll count from one to five just in case you need that to bring yourself back in case you you need that so I'll do it now I want to get to five you can open your eyes if you haven't done already you can feel alert you can feel calm and you can feel confident and also safe you need maybe between today's session and tomorrow's session perhaps you can start to notice those feelings and not just those feelings but how you feel about the feelings and how you feel about this session and just generally and I'll be back again tomorrow and the subject of safety is something that I will keep coming back to. Uh, there's a few subjects that I do have a tendency of incorporating and keep coming back to. The sense of uh, beliefs, trying to maybe loosen some of the limiting beliefs that we experience that maybe hold us back from enjoying or appreciating ourselves. So that's the end of this session. I'm going to count from one to five. Now. One. Two. Three. And you can become more aware of your surroundings maybe um, maybe your fridge is humming like mine a bit of traffic in the background maybe could be anything could be a light switch light that I've got a light over there that hums a little bit sometimes it's not so much a hum it's more of a click um, very different sounds aren't they hums and clicks Four, you can notice how you physically feel. Be more aware of your body as you become more aware, just generally. And when I say five, you can open your eyes and you can keep this feeling of safety with you. Five. You can open your eyes and you can between now and the next session, which is tomorrow, just maybe notice notice how you're feeling. Just generally. Just notice. Notice any changes because these daily hypnosis sessions do cause changes. 
So it could be interesting for you to notice. And also, if you like, I'm very happy for you to put some suggestions in the YouTube you know, comments box about maybe some things that I could also incorporate into future videos, these daily hypnosis sessions. So thank you very much for listening, for watching, for subscribing if you have, and if you haven't, and please do if you'd like to, and I will see you tomorrow. Thank you very much. Lots of love. And don't forget, my website is jasonnewland.com. And my name is Jason Newland. See you tomorrow. Bye.